मेजर ध्यानचंद जी जिनके नाम से देश का सर्वोत्तम पुरस्कार सर्वोत्तम खेल पुरस्कार 2002 से चलता आया है अब खेल रतन पुरस्कार भी आपने उनके नाम पर रखा उसका स्वागत है शुरुआत हो ही गई है तो अच्छी शुरुआत करिए और सबसे पहले नरेंद्र मोदी स्टेडियम और अरुण जेटली स्टेडियम का भी नाम बदलकर मिल्खा सिंह स्टेडियम रख दीजिए तो पूरा देश आपके इस फैसले से सहमत होगा मेजर ध्यानचंद को तो भारत रत्न मिलना चाहिए जिस तरीके की उनकी अचीवमेंट है और उनको बहुत पहले मिल जाना चाहिए था और खेल अवार्ड अगर खिलाड़ी के नाम नहीं होंगे तो किसके नाम होंगे ऐसे नामों का बदल करना सही नहीं है ध्यानचंद जी के नाम से और भी अवार्ड दे सकते हैं और ध्यानचंद जी गर्व की बात है लेकिन किसी सरकार ने एक वो भी तो पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री किसी पार्टी की नजर से उसके मत देखो You're watching news epicenter with me, Maria Shakil. India's hockey teams have captivated the imagination of the nation with their performance at the Tokyo Olympics. The Indian men's hockey team ended the 41-year wait for an Olympic medal when it defeated Germany 5-4 and secured the first hockey medal for the country since the Moscow Olympics in the 1980s. The women's hockey team today narrowly missed out on the bronze medal drawing curtains on its spirited show at the Olympics losing to Great Britain. Nonetheless, it has been a stellar performance by the hockey teams as the nation witnesses a renaissance in the sport on the path to achieving global domination. In the middle of Olympic glory, the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award, the highest sporting honor of India, has been renamed the Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award. Recognizing the legacy of India's hockey legend, the Prime Minister made the announcement saying the move was based on the numerous requests he received from across the nation. Major Dhyan Chand was a central part of the team that brought India three Olympic gold medals from 1928 to 1936. One of his most iconic matches was in the 1936 Berlin Olympics when he captained the Indian team to defeat Hitler's hockey squad 8-1 in the finals, delivering a blow to his ideology of Aryan supremacy. Dhyanchand was honoured with the Padma Bhushan in 1956 and his birthday on 29th August is celebrated as National Sports Day. Ideally, there should be no debate that this is a befitting tribute to the hockey legend, but even his legacy has been politicized with the opposition claiming that the BJP wants to hijack it by discrediting Rajiv Gandhi. The opposition also says that the BJP must now start renaming all arenas named after political leaders, highlighting the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad and the Arun Jaitley Stadium in the capital. As the nation celebrates the revolution, of Indian hockey. Is it possible to cut out politics when we honor the man who was the original trailblazer, who continues to inspire millions across the country? Earlier today, I spoke to Dhyan Chand's son, Ashok Kumar, who says that along with our performance at Tokyo, this tribute to Dhyan Chand will inspire more youth who dream of representing India in the hockey field. आप इस अनाउंसमेंट को जो सरकार की तरफ से हुआ है आप किस तरह से देखते हैं? ये अनाउंसमेंट जो राजीव गांधी खेल रत्न पुरस्कार का नाम बदल के मेजर ध्यानचंद जी के नाम पर किया गया है इसकी इसकी सूचना मीडिया के माध्यम से मुझे मिली और डेफिनेटली कहीं ना कहीं एक बातें हम लोगों के बीच में परिवार में तो नहीं लेकिन खिलाड़ियों के बीच में होती थी कि खेल रथ खेल के अवार्ड्स के अंदर कहीं ना कहीं जो अवार्ड दिए जाते हैं उसमें खिलाड़ियों के नाम ही होते तो बेहतर होते जिन्होंने इस देश के लिए गोल्ड मेडल जीते हों ओलंपिक्स के अंदर जिन्होंने इस देश के लिए वर्ल्ड कप में मेडल जीते हों उनके नाम से ताकि वो प्रेरणा के स्रोत हमारे आने वाली जनरेशन को मिल सके दुनिया को एक नया नया हिंदुस्तान नया भारत दिखाया जिसके अंदर खेलों की खेलों में हॉकी के द्वारा जिस तरह का खेल प्रदर्शित किया गया लोगों ने खेला जिसके अंदर ब्रॉन्ज मेडल हमने बहुत ही एक टफ फाइट देकर उसको जीता है और उसका महत्व 
गर्ल्स टीम ने जिस तरह से हमारे इस, इस, इसके खिलाफ खेल के ब्रिटेन के खिलाफ खेल के लड़कियों ने जो एक शहरत हासिल करी है वो कहते हैं ना कि अगर मेडल नहीं जीता तो दुनिया में, में दिल जीता है पूरे हिंदुस्तानी को दिल जीत लिया और उसमें एक दिल नरेंद्र मोदी जी का भी था पॉलिटिक्स शुरू हो गई है इस अनाउंसमेंट के बाद इनफैक्ट जो ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज हैं उनका ये कहना है कि ये जो पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री राजीव गांधी के नाम पर अवार्ड था और हटा देना अब मेजर ध्यानचंद के नाम पर यह अवार्ड होना ये उनको इंसल्ट है और ये भाजपा की हिपोक्रेसी है आप इस पॉलिटिक्स को कैसे देखते हैं देखिए ये क्या ऊपर की बातें हैं क्योंकि जब हुआ था तब हमारे दिमाग में ये बातें नहीं थी आज ये चीज हुई है तब हमारे दिमाग में बातें नहीं है हमारे दिमाग में दिमाग में तो एक ही बात है कि ध्यानचंद जी के उन उन चीज़ों को या हमारे खिलाड़ियों के खेल को जो उन्होंने खेला है उसको किसी तरह उसको उसको स्थापित किया जाए उन नामों को जिनसे खिलाड़ियों को प्रेरणा मिले और जिस क्षेत्र जैसा मैंने कहा जिस क्षेत्र का जो जो व्यक्ति है जिसने विशेष कार्य किया हो उसके वो प्रेरणा स्रोत बनता है आने वाली जनरेशन के लिए भारत रत्न की डिमांड हो रही है कि ध्यानचंद जी को भारत रत्न मिलना चाहिए जो सबसे बड़ा देश का अवार्ड है ये उनके सोच और विचार की बात है हम लोग तो इस बात को लेके चलते हैं ध्यानचंद एक ऐसे सम्मानित खिलाड़ी रहे हैं जिनको पूरा देश सम्मान की निगाह से देखता है उनको एक ऐसे व्यक्ति के रूप में देखता है तो ये सब चीजें उनके लिए है वो समझते हैं कि ध्यानचंद इस काबिल हैं उन्होंने देश के लिए काम किया है देश की प्रतिष्ठा को बढ़ाया है देश के लिए निस्वार्थ सेवा भाव करी है देश के लिए उन्होंने राष्ट्रभक्ति जो दिखाई है अगर ये सब चीजें वो समझते हैं और जानते हैं तो ये अवार्ड वही कर सकते हैं और जिसकी अपेक्षा हम सब भारतीय लोग करते हैं एन अनफॉर्चुनेट पॉलिटिक्स इज प्लेइंग आउट ऑन दिस सर्टनली लेट मी ब्रिंग इन माई गेस्ट Ashwini Nachappa is a former athlete Arjun Awadi Shazia Ilmi spokesperson of the BJP Shama Mohammad representing the Congress Manisha Malhotra a sports manager former tennis player Ashish Balal is former captain Indian hockey team Shama Mohammad India won a bronze after 41 years hockey glory is coming to the country after decades don't you think this is a befitting honor to our athletes it's the prime minister respecting the sentiments of a billion indians why is the this being seen by the congress party as some kind of hatred for the gandhis uh first and foremost a good thing that it has been named after uh, major dhyanchand there is one prime minister could have also done is named another uh, put another award you know he didn't have to change names now let's understand in an olympic year if you really wanted to support these sports persons you do not cut the budget 230 crore was cut from our sports budget this year and the olympic the hockey teams majorly did very well because we all know of navin patnaik who has sponsored the team so nothing to do with prime minister modi now what is important here is yes changing names but i want to understand then why is the narendra modi stadium named after him you know that is the most important and you change it from the iron man of our country you know the first home minister of our country from there you make it to narendra modi these are the important things we have to understand so vallabhai patel who got us all together got all the different states together he has been ignored his name is taken out and then you have a narendra modi stadium out there no, now, but is I'm is the concern to... largely that Do. it What is it is changing of rajiv gandhi oh. name that is the concern of the congress party today no, because this is not really an insult to the former prime minister should not be seen as one a sport a sporting uh, award should be after sporting icons yeah then let every award be after sporting let stadiums also be like that and why is see we all, we have a problem of charity start at home Let it start. Why did he rename a stadium after him? That's the question you need to ask today. That was from Sardar Vallabhai Patel. So, if you want to do these things, this is definitely vindictive politics. This okay. is definitely being okay. more. Okay. Shazia, this is vindictive politics according to according to the Congress Party. You know, I, I I can only feel sorry for this lady who has these views. I would not like to comment on them or dignify the remarks. I would like to first start by saying that. uh the conversation prime minister had with on the phone with the with the women's hockey team was very emotional Absolutely. and i want uh, it was amazing uh, it was uh, really uh, very heartwarming and an emotional moment and what uh, what uh, uh, the the men's hockey team has achieved after so many years 
you know, 70% of India today born born uh, was born after the the last victory. Hmm. You know, the uh, after the that 80s, is true. Hmm. Uh, medal. Hmm. So it's such a it's such an important day. And uh, as for coming to Gandhi's, I mean, they could have been on the right side of the history and said, "Be proud. Be happy to do this." There is one stadium named after uh, our Prime Minister, uh, but you know there are 450 institutes, 450 institutes. And let me start reading. It's very embarrassing, you know. I don't know, but what is very really embarrassing? Why we start the Indira Gandhi, Indira Gandhi Airport, Jawaharlal Nehru Hockey Tournament, Rajiv Gandhi National Football Academy, Rajiv Gandhi Film Jury Award, Indira Gandhi National Park, Rajiv Gandhi Home for Handicap Puducherry, oh, India Parliament. Rajiv Gandhi Music Festival, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Mount Rajiv. There is actually a, mount, a mountain in Himalayas, which is also named after Rajiv Gandhi. Huh. I mean, there's a height of shamelessness. And there are 51 awards, 15 fellowships, 19 national sanctuaries, 39 hospitals and medical institutions, 37 institutions. That's a long list. That's a long list. I'm sure, I'm sure, Shama uh, Mohammed, you you respect the sentiments of the citizens today. And you know, just about everybody that I have spoken to seem to be of this opinion that this is the best decision that has been taken by the government of India, keeping in mind the sentiments of the country today. Yeah, sentiments of the country. I want to ask Shazia Aini. She kept on saying that, of course, there are various stadiums, institutions named after Atul Bihari Bajpai. There are various institutions named after Lal Bahadur. And all Moraki Desai. And then I think I have to look out here. But then I finish. I think what is Why did you cut? Why did you cut? No, 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 no. The size of the road. You are not lying. I am not lying. I am not lying. I am not lying. No, no, no. If you are talking in terms of specific, Shama, you'll have to give me a specific response. No, no. You can't be making generic statements here. No, no. Here is, here is, here is Shazia Ilmi naming specific stadiums that have been and awards and fellowships that are after Gandhi. You have to name them. You can't be making a generic statement. Many will embarrass you. You will want to leave the Congress party, man. If I start. What I'm if trying I to tell you is if there's new change or you started from home and why did you get it? No, no, why can't you for a change welcome a decision? Why can't you for a change that in the times of pandemic when you have the entire country worried about their health, there is good news coming from the boys. Celebrate it. Why for a change, you, okay, let's, okay, since I've heard you, you I want to understand what are the athletes thinking. Ashwini Nachappa, Ashwini Nachappa, Ashwini, come in on this. You heard from the politicians, Ashwini. Are you of the opinion that when it comes to sporting awards, it should be after sporting icons? I personally believe that's the way it should be. Uh, you know, every sporting legend has contributed enormously to the country's sporting environment. And it was, uh, I personally felt it was a right time, an appropriate time, and a great gesture by Prime Minister to recognize the performance of both our men and women team, uh, which did brilliantly yesterday and today, and really ignited the spirit of the entire nation. I thought the timing was really apt. Okay, and adding to what you heard from the two politicians here, Ashwini, that this is some kind of an insult to the former Prime Minister, Rajiv Gandhi. I don't think it should be looked in that manner because Mr. Rajiv Gandhi was also very uh, encouraging towards sports when I was running. It is not that I personally believe that every sporting infrastructure and award must be, uh, sports awards must be, uh, you know, in the uh, in one of the legends' names, uh, in their respective uh, disciplines, if it's the infrastructure, uh, it's very important to recognize that. And it's only then that young children will know uh, who their sporting legends were and what their contribution to the country was. Fine. Let me bring in Manisha now. Manisha. TMC has called this a dirty trick by the central government, saying that Rajiv Gandhi was a martyr instead, that Narendra Modi Stadium should be uh, renamed and that would have been a better or a befitting tribute to Dhyan Chan. And you heard from the Congress representative as well. What's, what are your thoughts? No, I'm completely with Ashwini on this one. I think uh, sport transcends politics. And I think that definitely, as the moment calls now, um, hockey is the talk 
of town. It's got the pulse of the nation going. And it's really unfortunate to politicize something um, so so great that we've achieved and take away from what, what the men and the women have done on the field. So I think it's completely befitting to name it whatever after a sportsman. As far as I'm naming stadiums and all of this is concerned, I do believe that every sports facility or every sports uh, entity should always give and give recognition to its athletes and legends of the past and the politics should be kept out of it. Hmm. And what about you, Ashish? The hockey stars, of course, come from humble backgrounds. Many have fought poverty. It is about honoring Dhyan Chand's legacy and this would boost facilities uh, for Indian sports across disciplines. Actually, this is thrilling news uh, for every sportsman over here. Here is a prime minister who's uh, expressed that the sentiments of the people, the, you know, like Manisha said, that hockey is the pulse of the nation. Uh, it's got, it's given us so much happiness to see the men's and women's team play such fantastic uh, hockey. And Dhyan Chand uh, is, is a real legend uh, of, of sports uh, history, uh, of Indian history. And uh, Naming it after uh, Major Jan Chand is something really fantastic. And uh, I'm sure that all sportsmen across board will be really happy because of the kind of uh, iconic uh, personality he was uh, uh, winning, uh, winning so many Olympic medals, being one of uh, the most sought after person uh, when it comes to sport uh, and uh, his dedication to the nation, his give back after the sport also as a coach. Uh, the history behind it, his family history, I think it's it's a fantastic tribute uh, to this great personality. And I think the Prime Minister has done the right thing, expressed the, that the sentiments of the people and we are very happy with this announcement. Okay. Shama, I hope you have heard from the three athletes. Uh, Maria, Maria, yes. small thing. Ma Ma Maria, can I just, you know, I just want to add something very small and important. It's nothing to do with politics. <laughs> You know, six goals were won from 1928 to 1956 and then two more later. But, you know, I want to say the point. It's so important that we are there because the historically the game was played on a natural turf, on grass. I just want to say it's a small point. Let me say it. It's important. It's, a small, it's an important point. Yes. From that this cannot go on as a natural Shama, I will come to you. One moment. Shama, I'm going to come to you. Just one, one moment. One moment, Shama. I'm coming to you. You heard from the athletes, all are of the opinion that today was the right day. Shama, one moment, please. Just hold on to your thoughts. My 230 crores was cut. I want to say something important here, please. No politics. I want to tell everybody. I want to tell every Indian. I don't know what you have done. I want to say. Maria. Maria. Okay. 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 Listen to me. Listen to me. Both of you. Both of you. Just listen to me. I'll give you 30 seconds each. 30 seconds each. I'm going to begin with you, Shama. Shama, 30 seconds. Go ahead. 30 seconds. Go ahead. Tell you to shut up. I want to speak. Okay. 30 seconds. Go ahead. I don't want to allow such illness to talk here. I want to ask the sports people one question. I agree what you said. I am with you. But my question to you is: 230 crores have been cut from the sports budget. I myself was a sportswoman, a short distance runner, though not at your level. And when I came back to India, I wanted to do sports. What I thought, okay, can I say something? So One I moment. Is and I you asked that question. You asked that question. Can I say something? Can I say something? Shazia, one moment, moment, please. Let us speak. Maria, this is not fair. Maria, I also did not speak. Opposition, all opposition members got into Jantan Manta for a form of protest. And he wanted to divert the attention. And he does no, no, like no, 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 Shama. Okay, not everything is something. about the way you are looking at it. No, no, no. I will not be in agreement no, no. with you today. I, want to I will something. not be agreeing no, with you. Not everything is about diversion. It's about respecting the sentiments as well. I'm not too sure if Indians would get up at 6 a.m. in the morning to watch a match of this nature. Very different. Can Maria, we just for a change understand today. that the country Maria, is, was looking I forward to these matches? Do not allow. No, Maria, this is okay. not fair. Okay. Maria, you allow me to say, you promise you 30 seconds. Okay, go ahead. So 30 seconds. Until 1980. Okay, go ahead. Until 1980, we have lost eight medals. Nobody is getting medals. And you know why? Have it. Have it. Have it. Have it. Have it.
I agree completely. I mean, it was long overdue to recognize uh, Dhyan Chand's feat. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, many years people have been demanding his Khel Ratna, his various uh, recognitions for him. Even his son was, you know, kind of uh, trying to get that kind of recognition for his father. But I think this came at an appropriate time. Uh, and I'm sure wherever Dhyan Chand is, his spirit lives on. And he will be very, very happy that to recognize this achievement of uh, our hockey team after 41 years to get back into the medal contention. Uh, I don't think that it, uh, it can be a better time and a place to do that. Yes, we are talking about the timing and I think the timing is very important because it has uplifted the spirit of the nation, certainly. Manisha, uh, you know, you heard again that I'm, you heard from what Shama Mohammed was saying, that it's about the budget. When it comes to about the sport budget, why was it cut? And will it go beyond these tokenism? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, I mean, the way the sports atmosphere works is, is, is uh, very, very, is a little like the show. I mean, the people above keep fighting with each other and then here us, here are us athletes who have a job to do and we just go about our business. Why the sports budget was cut and, and all of that is really not in any of our athletes' power. I do believe that the athletes who went to Tokyo were well prepared. They got pretty much what they asked for. And, and that's all we worry about. So, you know, this is, this is something that is probably for another time. And it doesn't really matter. There were more pressing matters like a pandemic and different uh, crises that, that our country was facing. So it was the powers that be decided. Whether that's right or that's wrong, I'm not here to judge. But uh, the end of the day result is that our athletes were prepared for Tokyo. Sure, the results were not as what we expected, but yes. that's what the nature of the and, game and, is. Yes, and, and also, Ashish, will you say that uh, the timing again is important because we have to hit the iron when it's hot and not lose focus in a cricket-crazy country and lose sight of what we can achieve in hockey? Absolutely. I think uh, we are a cricketing nation. Uh, we all love cricket, but at the same time, we love Olympic sports. There's nothing like Olympic sports where you're competing with 330 countries. It, it's, 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 it's the magnitude of, of this sporting event that uh, is, should be recognized. And uh, athletes performing above their potential. And that's, uh, that's, that's, that's really heartening. They come from very varied yes. backgrounds. Uh, and, and to achieve this and get a personal message from our Prime Minister is, is motivating uh, you, you know for the youngsters to take up the sport uh, it's a kind of encouragement and there's nothing wrong uh, in naming it after a sportsman i believe and uh, uh, don't trivialize the this whole whole thing uh, and make it political because i think it is the it is the pulse everybody wanted it it's it's long pending okay. uh, and uh, like many other political things uh, we need to focus on sports I think a lot of investment has gone uh, into our sports uh, persons this time and in preparation for the Olympics. They were well, very well uh, looked after. Uh, there was a lot of exposure tours given. And, and I, I'm sure that uh, this, uh, the kind of effort uh, that uh, our sportsmen have put uh, will only encourage uh, the okay. Prime Minister and the government to think to enhance the, uh, the sports budget okay. and to take care of their athletes. I, let me go back to the politician, politicians and Shama. Shama, you heard from all the sporting icons and all those who have been in this field and all of them are welcoming it. Can we, for a change, for today, one day, put politics aside? Uh, Maria, Congress Party welcomed it. We never said anything against it. No, we welcomed the decision. That's not the thing. It's about the, the, the way it's done. I mean, it's a, it's a kind of hypocritical decision. 
then you start with why did you rename your stadium why did you rename that from sardar vallabh bhai patel to narendra modi and again i tell these athletes the most important thing is not about naming stadiums or anything it's about the budget the money we require in sport am i allowed to come in because the same and i will no shaazi i am going to give you 30 seconds i'll give you the final words let us make a point let us speak let us speak let shama speak please shama please okay shama please 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 shama Okay. Rajiv Gandhi accomplished that. Okay, why change? Why rename? Give it. To, okay, why? Why change? Why rename? Okay, go ahead. Uh, Shazia Elmi. So bad, and I want to say one thing about the budget that is being asked about again and again. You know, earlier these sporting events and these clubs and avenues were havens for corruption. We know what people like Suresh Kalmadi. We know what have, uh, what they did with the budget and with the with the with the monies involved, and we know how Commonwealth Games were held. for the first time you know the money is actually being used for at least there is not an entourage of friends of families and vips going there and you know favors being done so i think okay. this is the spirit Man, the, the the budget is for the at least Okay. Not for VIP politicians okay. to make money. Okay. Not for the Kalmadi. I would like world. to thank my Which guests, Manisha, Ashish, Shama, Mohammad, Shazia, Elmi, and Ashwini. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, is a historic day because of the renaming that has happened. Let's put politics aside. Is certainly the message that is coming from the athletes. They want the focus on sports and the spirit of the game. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching.